Now let's talk about how your dim sum is priced. Because on your dim sum tee, um, the different colored, or maybe it's just white piece of paper that lists all the different dim sum, you're not going to see an individual price next to each one. The way it's done is that it's given a character next to that. And somewhere on the dim sum tee, you're going to find a line that then takes that character and gives it a price. Okay, so it's quite a clever way to do it. But in terms of English speakers, it kind of, it almost kind of throws you off because you're thinking, well, wait a minute, if it's large, medium, and small, normally that refers to size and not price. But in dim sum, it refers to price. So if you're looking at this character here, this refers to the special dim sum. And for that, you have the privilege of paying the most. They are the most expensive ones. And the way to say it would be that, that theme. This theme is just the dim sum, right? But that, that is your special. So that theme are the most expensive ones. Next come the large. This uh, literally is large, but it is the next most expensive one. And that's going to be your thai theme, just a low tone thai theme, okay, thai theme, are your next uh, most expensive ones. And then you've got medium. Again, not in size, but in price. The mid-range price is going to be your zhong theme, and zhong is medium or middle, so zhong theme are your mid-priced items. And then you've got xiu theme. Xiu is little or small, and so the smallest, again, not in size, but in price, are going to be your xiu theme, and they are the cheapest ones. And so for those, you're going to uh, pay the least amount. So again, these are the different ways that they're priced. Uh, when you get your dim sum zi, you can match the character uh, that comes after what you're ordering to the line somewhere on the paper that usually denotes the different prices of your dim sum.